Please, please, what's up, boxing fan? Please subscribe to Pool Account of Boxing. Hit the bell notification for so you can receive more boxing news. Please like and share my videos. Um, I think we just witnessed the destruction and assassination or destruction, whatever you want to call it, of uh, uh, a man in the ring. Um, Sergey Lipinus. I don't think he landed more than 10 punches. Uh, I didn't think it was going to go more than one or two rounds. Um, Sergey Lipinitz is slow. Um, boots came out lightning fast. It looks like that tail, that old folks tail, the uh, tortoise and the rabbit, you know, um, and it came out hitting them with lightning punches and power. I think I started rooting for Lippinus just because he was getting hit so much. He was like Rocky Balboa. And it looked like he took all the punches from all the fights in one round. It looked like and it's hit him about 95 pounds, 95 times. And, um, he he withstood all he could. He fought like a warrior. I gotta give him that because he's a tough dude. But um, you know he was just too small, too short, too slow. Uh, for Boosinitz, Boosinitz came in with his A game. Looked like he wasn't even trying. It's like he was totally outclassed. Um, I felt bad for Limpinitz. Uh, I wanted him to stop the fight earlier. Uh, Lippinitz uh, went out there and showed that he got grit. Uh, Ennis, incredible talent. Um, I think he's ready for, you know, an Earl Spence Jr. fight, dare I say it. He is ready for Earl Spence Jr. He's ready for Terrence Crawford. He's ready. For all them guys, he's probably even ready to move up to 154 because you, you see the size difference between um, Sergey and um, Ennis. The size difference was crazy. Um, it was to the point where if Ennis really boxed, he couldn't even touch him. He wouldn't even touch him. He was, uh, it was like he was in there sparring. And, you know, I don't want to be on Ennis' helmet, but hey, you saw the fight. Yeah, it was like the Boston Massacre. It was, it was, it wasn't good. It wasn't good for Lippinus. And when he finally went down, you know, you ever see somebody get beat up so bad, you're relieved that they give up. And that's what it was. He was like a punching bag. And um, Ennis was just, didn't look like not one time did he have Ennis in trouble. He hit him with a couple of, Hard shots, and um, and it's just looked at him like, like a predator or something. Like, you know how the predator look when when um Arnold Schwarzenegger hit him, and he looked at him with them beady eyes. That's how Ennis looked at Lippin. It's like, so there it is. You know, Ennis shot across the bow to the uh, what to weight division. He is on the way, a rising star. That was a good test for him, and uh, he passed it with flying colors, you know, like an A student who studied three years before the test. He already knew all the answers, and now we can see what Boosinis has next. Hopefully, it's, a, it's one of maybe Sean Porter, maybe he will be fighting... Uh, Jose Cito Lopez, somebody of that stature. Um, I see him probably beating all them guys. Um, even Porter said he don't want to fight Boots in it. He don't want to fight the Young Lions. I don't see Virgil Ortiz beating him. I don't see Conor Ben beating him. Um, right now he stands out. He separates himself from the pack. And it's going to be hard for a talent like him to break in the um the upper echelon 
to give him an opportunity. Uh, definitely no Keith Thurman ain't going to give him a chance uh, to beat him up. So we got to wait to see what what's in store for young Jerron Bruce Ennis. Um, as for Lippinitz, I don't know. Lippinitz, he's look like he's he's going to be a journeyman. You know, he's going to have to go back to the drawing board. Maybe he'll, he'll be a, another soft uh, gatekeeper at 147. He's still a good fighter. He just don't have the intangibles that Jerron Bruce in his hands. And, uh, you know, God bless him with uh, all the lightning and the magic and the speed and everything, you know, that Zeus has. So... Unfortunately, living this is just a regular man. All right, that's all I got for you. It's Bull Counter Boxing. Please subscribe, hit the bell notification, and like and share my videos.